Judy and Burt people. Happy Thursday and this is Carolyn and I'm in a different room because I thought I had electrical problems. I mean my video was lagging. I went from the kitchen to the dining room to the living room. Now I'm in the library and it's working because or my computer's working because um, my dog chewed the wire a little bit and it needed some electrical tape. Luckily I had some <laughs> because yee, I really had to persever persevere through this. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. I just had to get it out of my system. I'm actually sweating <laughs> because I've been in every room in the house. Anyway, the, I am so in love with this bag. Actually, there's two of them that I'm going to show you. And the pictures on I love, not I love Duny, excuse me, Duny and Burke and QVC do not do this bag and, um, uh, not satchel, but, um, like a book bag, um, justice at all. And I wanted to show it to you because, um, I just received it and I think they're, they're really beautiful. Seriously. And I feel terrible. I've been running around. <laughs> I'm like all sweaty doing this. I mean, here are these gorgeous bags. Anyway, it is the, uh, I think it's Beacon, B-E-A-C-O-N collection. It's a new collection. And this is the tote. I said satchel before. Let's see. This, this is the tote. And it's in burgundy. And it is, it smells like leather. It is gorgeous. I don't have it stuffed right now, but let me show you the handles right here. There's no hardware. So, but it does, it will, it will go flop down for you. And, um, it feels like the kettle leather. It really does. You know, the leather that's used actually like the leather that's used on Louis Vuittons and everything. But anyway, let me talk about this. It's, it's gold tone, tone hardware. The leather is very smooth and it has a very leathery uh, sound and scent to it. it this particular um, tote has a zip front pocket right here. And then, and as you can tell, the, um, the lining is different and I love the lining. You can really see inside of it. Okay. Then this part here is the inside and, uh, of the tote and it's, it's lined in the leather. The back wall has the Dooney and Burke sign or, uh, patch zip pocket, the good size zipper. And then the front wall has two open pockets. And when I first looked at the bag, I was really surprised because I thought something was wrong at first and it wasn't the, let's see, I might have to stay. <laughs> the, um, if you can see part of the fabric is right on the lining there. And I noticed somebody had commented that there was a problem with the zipper. No, 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 no. This is really a nice tote. I'm so serious. It really is nice. It has a cream stitching to it. I love this. I absolutely love the simplicity of it, but it's not overly simple. And the leather is perfect. It literally is like, if you look at the Alma, uh, a new Alma, and you see the Vaquetta leather, how smooth that is. That's what this is like. Of course, I have <laughs> way back here with this tape. I have it in the burgundy. Now, the other one I have, Oh, and they come with the dust cover. The, the inside is typical, you know, the, the key fob and all that good stuff. Now, this is the satchel, and I love the satchel. I really, really, really love the satchel. And, and I love the tote, too, don't get me wrong. But this, this is the satchel right here. And the handles, and also I believe the handles on the tote, yes, is... They're not rolled, but they have the, the like the old fashioned handles, like the, the string inside them. And if I get up close, you can see this goes down and that goes down without any hardware. And you have 
your strap here and an extended uh, part of the strap so this can be crossbody. Gold tone hardware here and you have a front pocket here and then you have a back pocket here. So that's, oh, and both the tote and the satchel have the feet on the bottom and reinforced by trim. Now the inside, and it's slightly, as you can tell, let me flip this back, it, it's slightly domed, which is nice. And I'm telling you, it's, it's not like structured like a Safiano leather. It's not um, puddly like um, Florentine. It has just its own natural structure to it that I think is going to probably soften with time. But it, it really, I'm telling you, it's gorgeous. Let me open this up. The zippers work great. Oh, I do have some stuffing in here. Let me get the stuffing out. Sorry. Okay. Here's, okay, here is the rest of the strap that I was, I was talking about. And this is the interior on the back wall. You can see it has the zipper. Let me see. You can see them. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> it has the, the zipper and open pocket and the patch. You see that? And the front wall has two open pockets and then of course you have something we all love <laughs> our key fob and this lining is like excellent because you can really totally see inside the bag so and the satchel and tote are good size but not like ginormous all right the um the satchel would definitely be larger than like the zip zip um but not like gargantuan large. And the tote is nice size. It, you know, when you wear it on your shoulder, it's lovely. And I need to be way back here. Um, but anyway, I love the fact that both the satchel and the tote just have these I mean, listen to that. It's just, it's just the sound of leather. I think it's great. So I am very impressed with this new leather that they're using. It's, it's the Keta leather, and it's not like anything else they have. Nothing. Nothing compares to you. No. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing compares to this. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.